all you wonderful, beautiful, and gorgeous people visiting my channel, if you don't already know, I am Jose, and welcome to my channel. Special episode, Quarantine Chronicles. Yeah, we're all in quarantine right now. I went to work on Sunday and I thought, okay, I have work on Friday. They had closed the schools already. So I was like, well, I'm out of a job for the next two weeks. And then my second job was like, oh, we're closing for two weeks. So two week vacation and paid. I remember I have all this face paint that I ordered a while ago because I remembered I wanted to start messing around for cosplay. And I figured might as well just do it. Today I am going to be trying out some face paint for Garnet. So let's just hop into it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some Burt's Bees lip scrub and rub it in your lips. Then we're gonna take our pore professionals and rub it into your skin. Try not to stretch it too much. Padding really helps. And as I am sitting here, we're gonna use our Urban Decay eye primer and we're gonna rub it on our eyelids. And again, try dabbing instead of rubbing and pulling. Then I'm gonna go in with these maroon color cups. I got them in red, white, black, and this maroon color. And I'm gonna start using the red and dabbing it into my skin. Shout out to Maroon though, because these are super pigmented. I didn't even have to use a lot for coverage on my face. And I'm going to continue to bring the makeup down to my neck. So I thought I was going to use my maroon color, but psych! I'm going to use my white color to start highlighting under my eyes and my T-zone on my chin. Then I started blending because this started to look like a hot mess. For this step, I used a Maybelline translucent powder. I don't have the correct setting powder that I'm supposed to have. Then I'm going to actually use the maroon color and start contouring my face. Can I just say, this is a learning experience for me. I've never done face paint before, so this was completely new. Then after wiping off the translucent powder, I'm going to go in with a, another contour powder. Afterwards, I'm going to go back in with some more powder to set more of the makeup. Then I went onto my brows and I used the same maroon color that I used on my cheeks. Once I had finished them and cleaned them up, I started wiping off the excess powder. Next, I went in with some eyeshadow. I used the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I started with some red for the lids, and then I winged them out with some purple. Then I went in with some black liquid eyeliner. I know Garnet doesn't have eyeliner, but I thought it'd be a good touch since I don't have all of the stuff that she would normally have. Both these eyeliners are thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Then I went ahead and curled my eyelashes for my mascara. I don't normally use falsies, and I'm not going to use them for this tutorial because they make me feel weird. I'm going to go back in with my next palette and use blue under my eyes. Then I started drawing the eyeball with some NYX White Eyeliner. This was the biggest challenge because she has an eyeball in the middle of her head and I didn't know how big I wanted it to be, so this is a whole struggle. Then I went back in with my black eyeliner to outline the eye. went ahead and I drew the lashes and I decided the eyeball was too small after referencing someone else so I decided to make it bigger. I went ahead and I added my shade for my lips and then I decided to pull more of the contour into my baby hairs. Then I decided well already did my neck might as well do my ears to match everything else. 
Then I zipped up my jacket and completed the look. This is the final look. Uh, thanks for taking that ride with me. This was insane. And honestly, this takes so much time. Oh, you guys know what comes next because I don't know what else to say. If you liked this video, click that like button. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to share this video with all your friends, someone who likes Steven Universe, someone who's particularly into Garnet, or I don't know, maybe your mom. And I hope that you guys have a great week. Thank you for coming to my quarantine chronicle. And I will see you next week or maybe again this week. Bye.